everyone, welcome to today's video. As you can clearly see, it is another Spider-Man suit collection. This is now the third one that we have done on the channel because I have amassed quite a lot of suits. I, I don't even know what I'm up to anymore. It's kind of kind of sad, but if you guys know, let me know in the comment section. Maybe if we get to like a specific number, I can showcase them all for you guys. Like maybe if I get to like 50, I'm definitely getting there, but nonetheless, this is part three of my Spider-Man suit collection. All of these suits are from ZentaiZone.com. They actually have a new website specifically for their superhero costumes. It's going to be PrintCostumes.com. I'll leave a link in the description and you guys can still use my discount code Pat's Cosplay to save you 15% off your entire order. So as you guys may or may not know, I've been doing a battle damage series where I take a Spider-Man suit and completely just destroy it. I personally really like the series. It really just adds another like depth and customization to the suits. I think it just looks absolutely fantastic. So for this particular suit, I actually don't know who the digital artist is. It's actually just on Print Costumes website without any digital artist name on it. All the other suits have them, so I don't know who this is created by. If you know who it is, please let me know in the comments section. It has um, a very like checkered board pattern. So I think it would be the same person that made my bombastic Bagman Spider-Man, but I'm not 100% sure. See, I really, really like this suit. I think this is like my favorite battle damage suit out of them all. I, I just really like these pieces that are just barely holding on the suit. I think they look absolutely fantastic and exactly what a movie quality would look like. But yeah, I really love this suit. At the end of the video, I will be sharing which one is my favorite suit out of all of these guys. Let me know which one is your favorite also in the comment section. All right, moving on to the Far From Home suit. Again, this is another battle damage suit. I wanted to kind of recreate the scene from the movie where he has his entire back melted. I just think it absolutely looks fantastic. I had an idea of how I wanted to do it and I kind of just went at it and just put a lot of puff paint on it. This suit is probably my hardest one to get into because the puff paint really does like hold tight and there's not much room to give. There is a way to get around that, but I can talk about that in another video if you'd be interested in that. So this pattern was created by House of J Designs. I'll leave a link to his page in the description below. Again, you guys can get this off Zentai Zone using my discount code, save you guys some money. Might as well, there's no reason not to use it if you're gonna save some money. But yeah, overall, I think this suit is really cool and very unique. I don't think any single person at any convention is going to have a battle damage burned Spider-Man suit. So if you make this yourself, you'll be pretty much the only one ever that you'll see at a convention. So something to keep in mind. All right, moving over to the Miles Morales section. Clearly this was when the PS5 Miles Morales game came out. So I got a, a lot of suits. First one we got is the Crimson Cowl suit. I thought this suit was really fantastic. It has a cool like assassin look to it. I love costumes with hoods. I just think it looks so cool. The hood is massive, by the way. Um, it doesn't look as bad once it's on your head because it has like a nice like droop effect to it. It just looks super silly when it's like this, like it's the length of the back. So this pattern was created by Gunhead Designs. You can pick it up on their website or you can also pick it up directly off of printcostumes.com. If you do happen to pick up any of these suits from the digital artist, you have the choice to bring it to any sort of printing service that you want. I personally use print costumes because I've used it for years and I just think the price is really good and the quality is really good. This suit has a lot of detail on it. Everything from the inside seams of the arm to the hands, it has like the armor plating on it. The palms have like the grip look on it. It just looks absolutely phenomenal. Love this suit. All right, moving on to what I think to be the most like unique suit out of all of these. It's the programmable matter suit from the PS5 Miles Morales game. Again, this suit was created by Gunhead Designs. They did a phenomenal job on this. When I first saw this design, I'm like, it can't work as a Zentai suit. It doesn't look correct. It's going to look weird when it's a Zentai suit. But the first photo I saw with it, I'm like, holy crap. That looks amazing. That actually looks like it's on them and it actually looks metallic and it looks so cool and I wanted it, so I bought it. Again, really cool designs on it. The neon look really makes the whole suit pop. You're gonna really stand out in this suit. and. I'm a sucker for anything white on a Spider-Man suit. I don't know why, it just makes the suit look so much better in my opinion. Again, pick it up from Gunhead Designs. 
All the links are in the description. Use print costumes if you want to actually save 15%. You, you know, you just gotta type in Pat's Cosplay, done. What's this? Oh, another Miles Morales suit. Next, we have the Purple Rain Spider-Man suit from the PS5 Miles Morales game, which was given to him by the Prowler or his uncle, if you don't already know that. Spoilers, sorry, too late. The movie's been out for a while, as well as the game. Really awesome design. Again, this is by Gunhead Designs. They do really awesome work and they're really good at their like armored plating because on his forearms, that's an armored plating, but like it actually looks three dimensional and looks really good when it's on a person. The green has like such a nice little effect that again, it looks very 3D looking. Really awesome. I love the octagon shapes inside the spider webs. It looks really, really cool. This is definitely a great option if you want to, again, stand out in a Spider-Man group because most people are going to have like your typical red and blue Spider-Man suit or Miles Morales, his base suit from the Spider-Verse or possibly the PS5 Miles Morales suit. Other than that, it's going to be a very similar style of suits throughout the entire group. So if you want something to stand out, Consider looking at one of these suits. It looks really cool. You can add in all of the attachment pieces for his belt, um, make all of these pieces more 3D by adding foam if you want to do that. That's totally up to you, but honestly, it looks fantastic. All right, moving over to this Miles Morales suit. As you can see, it's battle damage. This was how this suit looks in the game. Surprisingly, this suit had nothing with cuts on it. It was just kind of dirt and grime. So we added a lot of grime looking on it. This is like a cut through it but didn't quite make it through so just looks absolutely fantastic like this thing looks like it's been through a battle and back or one trip to a convention so this suit was created by mask for your task designs he has really fast turnaround rate this suit debuted as one of the skins that you can unlock in the game and i think it was within 48 hours he had this suit up ready to sell which is insane turnaround time. Like, that's amazing. And like the detail is really good on it. It has very like fine detail throughout the entire suit to make, the, just so it doesn't look like plain when it's just a whole white suit like my cosmic design. It just doesn't look the same in my opinion with having these little tiny, they're almost triangles, but not quite throughout the entire suit. It just breaks up a little bit better and just looks better overall. Obviously, with darkening it, it makes it look a lot better, in my opinion. This is the Miles Morales Great Responsibility Suit. This is like the, his in-training suit, the one where he's just learning the ropes, trying to get used to this whole Spider-Man thing. It's, it's very Spider-Man Peter Parker kind of style. It looks, it's red and blue for one thing, and it just has like very minimal stuff on it, and that's what I like about it. This suit definitely gives me like an amazing Spider-Man 1 feel, just because it like kind of parts down here like this, and the colors are like very like vibrant, so it looks really awesome in my opinion on that. This suit again was created by Gunhead Designs. If you want to get this, links are in the description for everything. I put a U-shaped zipper on these. I think I put U-shaped on most of them, except for the first two. The rest of them all have U-shaped zippers. And that was just to break up, or not break up the seam on it. It's just so it has a very nice seam through the spider. If it has a black spider, I wouldn't worry about getting any sort of U-shaped zipper. You can do a straight zipper. It saves you $2. They are a little bit more difficult to get into the suits. However, they do kind of work better. It's kind of tough to describe. Like it's easier to get it off but it's hard to get it on. A U-shaped zipper, I've had one break on me before. It's actually in my PS4 Spider-Man suit. Um, it has broken on me before, but that was the only one that's ever broken on me on any of my Spider-Man suits. So it could have just been a faulty zipper or I just, you know, ate too much food and then tried to do a jump. But honestly, this suit's so cool. I love how like minimalistic it is. It just looks so cool. Moving on to the Sam Raimi trilogy. We've got the suit from the first movie. Again, I battle damaged this one. I just thought it looked really cool. I wanted to mimic his fight against the Green Goblin. He had a lot of cuts on it. His mask is torn. You can see his eye through it. It looks so freaking cool. I love how this suit looks, especially battle damaged. We got the, the suit design on the back. It just looks so freaking cool. 
It's a very like nostalgic suit. That's what I like about it. So this suit is actually a free pattern anyone can pick up from Crazy Frankie. He only has a few patterns that are free, however. I think there's about five. There's this one, the next suit you're about to see, and I think there's like a Deadpool suit or something like that. But really awesome that he even provides free suits. Like I would have paid for this, no problem, but he offered it for free, so I'm not gonna say no. But yeah, really awesome suit. Really like the design of this suit. Just brings back my childhood. I am old, so. That's always nice. Now we move on to the symbiote version. Again, this suit was by Crazy Frankie. It has the wrong spider on the back. I will admit that, but I mean, it is a free suit. The only one who's going to care that it is the wrong spider is going to be those little people that nitpick everything about a costume that probably don't have a costume or they're very like hyper, like sensitive on that matter. And it's a costume. Who cares if the spider is not 100% accurate? You didn't make it. You got it for free. If this was a thousand dollar replica suit, then I'd be very upset. However, this was $120. It's a lot cheaper, it's a lot more affordable, and just, it doesn't have to be 1000% accurate. You get what you pay for, all right? And this was a free design. If you don't like it, pay for a pattern. That's very simple. I like it because it has very minimal muscle shading on it. When it has too much muscle shading, it just looks silly. Like it looks like they're trying to do the old style of comics where everyone was like, this, that's their torso and that's their waist. Like it's, it just doesn't make sense. But yeah, I got a U-shaped zipper on that one as well to not break up the spider and just, it looks better overall. If you can afford the extra two, three dollars at that cost, I recommend it. Time to turn into Andrew Garfield. The Amazing Spider-Man one suit. Again, battle damage. This suit had already had a battle damage design on it. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see it around the spider emblem. It has like those cuts from what would be the lizard. I decided to break it up a little bit more and just make it a little bit more realistic. Like, oh, like he only got three slashes on him and the rest of the suit has nothing damaged on it. So I added a little bit more to it just to make it look a little bit better in my opinion. One thing I love about this suit is the hands. The hands on these things, how it goes from red to blue like that in such a vibrant color, it just looks so freaking cool. Like I would love to just wear this as a superhero and never change the design because like it's so freaking cool. The back design has like a really awesome like separated kind of bone structure spider. I think it looks really awesome. U-shaped zipper on that so I don't break anything up. Honestly, if you were to get this one, you can do a straight zipper. There's not much that you would go through on the actual spider. It's not gonna affect it that much on this one just because it's not too large where the spider part is. So you can go a straight zipper if you want to. But yeah, if you wanna see the battle damages of any of these as well, links will be in the description. It's a really fun process, and if you have some extra Spider-Man suits or you just want to make a battle damage suit, give it a try. It's really fun and only takes about a day. This is the Peter B. Parker suit from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. This suit was the hardest one to battle damage because there's like three images of the upper body, nothing of the lower body, and um, very low res images because it's a very zoomed out photo that you have to zoom in on and be like, I, th I think that's skin. That, that could be skin. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that. So really fun like process on this. I got to be very creative with it. There was no pictures of the back, so I had to do all of the back designs myself. I think it turned out really well. There wasn't much in the battle where he like kind of got hit in the back. He hit some walls and stuff, but there was never a point where he got like scratched or a bomb exploded behind him or anything like that. So I just did very minimal stuff in terms of like just minor cuts and stuff. Nothing crazy. Legs, I normally don't do much for legs um, in terms of damaging because again, most battles, upper half of the body, it's not gonna really hit the lower part of the body. That's most fights, that's just science. But yeah, really awesome. I really enjoyed making this suit. If you guys wanna see more battle damage suits, please let me know. I have a lot of Spider-Man suits. I don't mind destroying all of them. <laughs> so let me know if you guys wanna see more of them. Who you wanna see, just let me know in the comment section below. I've realized I've asked you guys to comment a lot of stuff down below, so just comment everything that I've said down below, okay? Some of you guys may remember this suit, and <laughs> I fooled a lot of you guys. This is my Spider-Gwen suit. It's a male pattern, so it's still Spider-Gwen, but it's just a male version of the pattern. I think it's hilarious, and honestly, the design on this is really cool. I love, like, pink and blue. It's, like, one of my favorite co color combos. I have a tattoo that's pink and blue because I like pink and blue. Again, it has a cool hood on it. The hoods are, for some reason, always massive. I don't know why. I think that's just how they sew it. 
They just kind of oversize them a bit, but like it still works, which is very confusing to me. So I actually forgot to mention these two patterns. The Amazing Spider-Man one suit did not have a digital artist for it. It was again, just on Print Costumes website without a name, so I don't know who created that one, but you can still purchase it from them. And the Peter B. Parker suit was created by a person named Arachnid Studios. He goes by Breaker on Instagram. He makes a lot of really cool suits. A lot of his designs are very liquid-like, so if you want a liquid design suit, I would definitely go to him. So again, this suit was created by Gunhead Designs. As you can see, I buy a lot of suits from Gunhead Designs, and that's because their quality is very high. It's very competitive pricing, and honestly, you're gonna get really awesome some suits from them like really awesome and their customer service is fantastic like if you have a question you can just dm them on instagram and they will respond to you like they want to be there to help you so keep that in mind if you have any questions just ask them i just really like wearing this suit it's, it's very fun i don't wear it often enough but it's very fun when I do. All right, so that's all of the suits that are part of this collection. I definitely plan on getting more Spider-Man suits. I may have just ordered a bunch more. Um, so a new one coming eventually whenever I get to a certain point because I don't want to like add a new suit and then make a new collection video. I think that's a little bit silly. So I want to get like a mass amount of suits and then make it for you guys so that you're not just watching a collection video every week. I think that'd be silly. So out of all of these suits, my favorite suit out of all of them would have to be, honestly, the Spider-Man Homecoming suit, the battle damage version. I love how I did this suit and I really do wanna make another suit like it where there's like barely like webs holding on to the suit. I just think it looks fantastic. Really, like I love all of these suits so much, but like the battle damage stuff is just so cool to me right now because it's new and fresh and just fun to do. It's funny because my Peter B. Parker suit used to be my second favorite of all time. Now it's not because of the battle damage stuff. It still looks good. Don't get me wrong. I still like it. But like the homecoming one is just it's catching my eye, you know? It looks really cool. So right now you guys can go to the comment section. Let me know which suit is your favorite. Did you like the MCU stuff? The PS5 Miles Morales stuff? The Raimi stuff? The Andrew Garfield stuff? the Spider-Verse, or the Gwen? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you have any questions about Spider-Man suits, I got a couple. If you haven't already, make sure you guys check out part one and part two of my collection video. Again, there's a lot of suits now. I have to be up to at least 30, maybe, maybe 40, I'm not sure. If you like Spider-Man, leave this video a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos all related to Spider-Man, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.